Are you ready to learn about the Caribbean's biggest debtors? Because today, we're diving deep into the financial waters of the Caribbean to find out which countries are sinking under the weight of their debt. From beautiful beaches to staggering debt ratios, we're about to take you on a journey through the most indebted countries in the Caribbean. Get ready to grab your snorkel and dive in. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more Caribbean information. Barbados is one of the most indebted countries in the Caribbean, with an external debt-to-GDP ratio of 121.4% as of 2021. The country has been grappling with high levels of debt for many years, which has been a major impediment to its economic growth and development. Barbados has a small, open economy that is heavily reliant on tourism and international business, which were severely impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. This led to a significant decline in the country's economic activity, exacerbating its debt burden. To address its debt problem, Barbados underwent a debt restructuring program in 2018, which involved a significant reduction in its debt obligations through a debt-for-bonds swap. The program was successful in reducing the country's debt burden, but it came at the cost of significant austerity measures, including public sector wage cuts and tax increases. Despite the debt restructuring program, Barbados's debt levels remain high, and the country is facing significant economic challenges. The government has introduced several measures to boost economic growth, including the establishment of a digital nomad visa program to attract remote workers to the country, and a tourism marketing campaign to boost visitor arrivals. Overall, Reducing the country's debt levels and improving its economic growth prospects will require significant reforms and policy changes, as well as external support from international organizations and other countries. Jamaica is another heavily indebted country in the Caribbean, with an external debt-to-GDP ratio of 91.3% as of 2021. The country has been grappling with high levels of debt for many years, which has hindered its economic growth and development. Jamaica's economy is heavily reliant on tourism, bauxite, and remittances, which are all vulnerable to external shocks. The COVID-19 pandemic severely impacted the country's tourism industry, which led to a significant decline in economic activity and exacerbated its debt burden. To address its debt problem, Jamaica has implemented several reforms, including fiscal consolidation measures and structural reforms to improve its competitiveness and attract foreign investment. The country has also received financial assistance from international organizations, including the International Monetary Fund, IMF, to support its reform efforts and help reduce its debt levels. In recent years, Jamaica has made significant progress in reducing its debt levels and improving its fiscal position. The country's debt-to-GDP ratio has declined from a peak of over 140% in 2013 to its current level of 91.3%. The government has also implemented policies to boost economic growth, including tax reforms, infrastructure investments, and social programs aimed at reducing poverty and inequality. However, Jamaica still faces significant economic challenges, including high levels of crime and corruption, which can deter foreign investment and hinder economic growth. To overcome these challenges and achieve sustained economic growth, Jamaica will need to continue with its reform efforts and implement policies that promote greater investment and competitiveness. Grenada is another country in the Caribbean with a high level of external debt, with an external debt-to-GDP ratio of 84.6% as of 2021. The country has faced significant economic challenges, including high levels of debt, limited economic diversification, and vulnerability to external shocks. Grenada's economy is heavily reliant on tourism and the agriculture sector, particularly nutmeg and cocoa production. The COVID-19 pandemic has severely impacted the country's tourism industry, which has been a major source of foreign exchange earnings and employment. To address its debt problem, Grenada underwent a debt restructuring program in 2015, which involved a significant reduction in its debt obligations through a debt-for-nature swap. The program was successful in reducing the country's debt burden, but it came at the cost of significant austerity measures, including public sector wage cuts and tax increases. In recent years, Grenada has implemented several measures to boost economic growth and reduce its debt levels, 
including efforts to attract foreign investment, improve infrastructure, and increase productivity in the agriculture sector. The government has also implemented policies to promote greater fiscal discipline and transparency, which has helped to improve its overall fiscal position. Despite these efforts, Grenada still faces significant economic challenges, including high levels of unemployment and poverty, limited economic diversification, and vulnerability to external shocks. To overcome these challenges and achieve sustained economic growth, Grenada will need to continue with its reform efforts and implement policies that promote greater investment and competitiveness, as well as address the underlying structural issues that contribute to its debt problem. Antigua and Barbuda is another country in the Caribbean with a high level of external debt to GDP ratio of 77.1% as of 2021. The country has faced significant economic challenges, including high levels of debt, vulnerability to external shocks, and limited economic diversification. Antigua and Barbuda's economy is heavily reliant on tourism and international financial services, which are vulnerable to external shocks. The COVID-19 pandemic has severely impacted the country's tourism industry, which has been a major source of foreign exchange earnings and employment. To address its debt problem, Antigua and Barbuda has implemented several measures to boost economic growth and reduce its debt levels, including efforts to attract foreign investment, improve infrastructure, and increase productivity in the agriculture and manufacturing sectors. The government has also implemented policies to promote greater fiscal discipline and transparency, which has helped to improve its overall fiscal position. Despite these efforts, Antigua and Barbuda still faces significant economic challenges, including high levels of unemployment and poverty, limited economic diversification, and vulnerability to external shocks. To overcome these challenges and achieve sustained economic growth, Antigua and Barbuda will need to continue with its reform efforts and implement policies that promote greater investment and competitiveness, as well as address the underlying structural issues that contribute to its debt problem. St. Kitts and Nevis is a beautiful island nation located in the Caribbean with a high level of external debt to GDP ratio of 68.6% as of 2021. The country has faced significant economic challenges, including high levels of debt and limited economic diversification. St. Kitts and Nevis's economy is heavily reliant on tourism and the financial services sector, which are vulnerable to external shocks. The COVID-19 pandemic has severely impacted the country's tourism industry, which has been a major source of foreign exchange earnings and employment. To address its debt problem, St. Kitts and Nevis has implemented several measures to boost economic growth and reduce its debt levels, including efforts to attract foreign investment, improve infrastructure, and increase productivity in the agriculture and manufacturing sectors. The government has also implemented policies to promote greater fiscal discipline and transparency, which has helped to improve its overall fiscal position. Despite these efforts, St. Kitts and Nevis still faces significant economic challenges, including high levels of unemployment and poverty, limited economic diversification, and vulnerability to external shocks. To overcome these challenges and achieve sustained economic growth, St. Kitts and Nevis will need to continue with its reform efforts and implement policies that promote greater investment and competitiveness, as well as address the underlying structural issues that contribute to its debt problem. Overall, St. Kitts and Nevis is a beautiful island nation that has faced significant economic challenges in recent years. However, with its rich natural resources and the determination of its people, the country has the potential to overcome these challenges and achieve sustained economic growth in the future. Thanks for diving into the deep end with us to explore the most indebted countries in the Caribbean. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through the region's economic challenges and potential opportunities for growth. Now, it's your turn to make a splash. We want to hear from you in the comments below. Do you think these countries have what it takes to overcome their debt challenges and achieve economic success? Are there any other countries you think should have made the list? Let us know your thoughts and keep the conversation going. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating dives into the world's economic landscape. Until next time, Keep exploring.